And for three, Ooh. on the run. Stephen Holt, not shy at all. Oh, near him at some stage. Oh, great hands by the big fella there Little too. Little away. Golding, can he take it? Blanchard! Right he got the tip and one. Cairns were tough tonight. Is that the toughest test so far? You know what, I, I think, um, yeah, kind of constant toughness. They just, it seemed like we start to get a little run out, hit a couple shots and, uh, but you know they're never going away because they are, they are a tough team. So, uh, so we had to be ready for it. And I think we, we weathered it well, um, but it always looked like the tide could turn back towards them. Uh, Chris Goulding, 26 points, birthday boy. Yeah. He, he put on a bit of a show tonight, didn't he? He did. He's, he's starting to do that a little bit. Um, and, he's, and he's so capable of doing it all the time. Uh, I think we just need to work to, uh, to get him some great open looks so that he doesn't have to try to create for himself all, all the time, even though he can do that pretty well. But, uh, yeah, he hit some shots and a couple other guys, Stephen Holt, hit some in, uh, in some big situations, kicks as well. And, uh, yeah, it's fun to see different guys uh, hit some shots. Stephen Holt, you mentioned he really seemed to get the team going tonight. Yeah, he was, he was really efficient in what he was doing and, uh, and really did just get us going, got us into our stuff and then hit, hit shots when we needed him. He's done that a number of times already this year. So uh, it's, it's great to see him getting comfortable. And a, as he says, he tweets out every week, uh, why not? You know, he says why not all the time. And uh, if I have an O, why not? So hopefully he'll help us to keep that going. Uh, Akeem didn't play many minutes last game but uh, looked a good shot tonight. Yeah, yeah, he's, I think he was ready uh, to play the other day, but um, once we got out to a really big lead, um, you know, good to keep the older guy fresh for the second game of the, of the double, and, uh, and he played really well, had 11 rebounds, was really active. Uh, I love when he comes off the bench and gets that first offensive rebound and, and keeps things going for us, and uh, he gave us a big lift. Thursday night, Perth, it all sort of is culminating to, to Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to... It's going to bubble over a little bit, I think, against Perth. Um, they just lost to Townsville in a really tough game last night, and uh, and they've got some great veterans like like Cans and a lot of um, a lot of talent. So uh, so I think it's going to be a, a real physical uh, beat 'em up battle, you know. And who should we be watching out for on Thursday night? Who do we have to stop? They've got a number of guys, um, but Nathan Joy is uh, is great. Uh, Jeremy Beal. Um, is really good and and Prather. I don't know how he's doing, uh, but another really athletic American guy who can play and uh, and then Matty Knight. They're just really tough inside. Sean Redditch, Jesse Wagstaff. Um, they're they're just a good solid team. So Melbourne United fans should get down on Thursday. Night. Uh, I think it's going to be our toughest game so far. Tonight was tough, and I think it's just it just seems like as we play well and win some games, I think every team's going to really be gunning for us. And Perth is, is right up there with us, so it's going to be a battle.